Yo, what's up, Boosters? My name is Doochie, and welcome back to 100%. Uh, uh, English? Wow, my brain straight up did not work there for like five seconds. Okay, let me try that again. <clears throat> what's up, Doochers? My name is Doochie, and welcome back to 100. What? And I. I. Again, okay, we'll try this again. Okay, one more time, one more time, one more time. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, YouTubers? My name is Doji, and welcome back to 100 episodes of Minecraft Survival, not hardcore, because I'm not nearly that insane. Now, uh, we have a visitor behind me, but we'll deal with him later. So, if you didn't see the last episode, which I don't know why you haven't, we're only three episodes into this, if you're already skipping episodes, oh boy, you're in for a long and painful ride, just as I was last time when I decided to make this thing, this villager trading hall, and just so I don't deafen everyone watching this video, I'm going to lower that to about 20 so we don't have to listen to everyone screaming in our ears. So, this is the villager trading hall, and I just, I need to lower the hostile mobs as well, a little bit, 35, you know, just a good point. I promise you guys, 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 I'm a professional YouTuber. I definitely prepare before I start recording my videos, because that's the right thing to do. But anyway, welcome back to uh, another episode, we're here in the villager trading hall, and Honestly, I kind of started this video without a plan. I mean, I kind of roughly know what I want to get done, but I don't quite really know what else I'm going to do. The, the one thing I want to actually get done this episode that I know I'm going to do is I want to go to the end and get an elytra. You know, basically, I want to beat the game in episode 3 because that's how all series work episode 3 of 100, the game's beaten. So, we need to get to the end. Now, I I have my eyes of ender, I got my ender chest, I got my fireworks, my books for the Elytra, some building blocks for, well, you know, building, got some golden apples, I think we're sufficiently prepared for this journey. I just need to do it, which is the problem. So, do I have wood? I have wood. Okay, so I can make chests while we're in the end, which is, you know, very helpful. So you can make the shulker boxes. But now, we just need to go and find our end portal. So, I'm going to go to bed, and I will get right to it then. I'll throw a pearl, or an eye, and we'll see where it takes me. Alright, so let's see here. First eye. Okay, that was not the direction I was expecting it to go, if you couldn't tell. But uh, we need to head in this direction. Now, I, I'm i going to be honest with you guys. I've done this maybe four times before in the history of me playing this game. I have no clue how far away this is going to be. For all I know, this could literally be 2,000 blocks away. How far can the, the portal spawn? It, it does usually spawn within 2,000 blocks, right? I mean, uh, right? It, it does spawn within 2,000 blocks, right? This isn't going to be a five-hour journey or anything, is it? Oh, great. It's going to be a five-hour journey, isn't it? Just my luck. All right, well, let's, let's keep going. Ooh. Melons. Yes, please. I have to climb these mountains? I mean, wow, where, where, where is this, uh, where is this portal? Are we still going in the right direction? Okay, yes, it's still this way, okay. Oh, why hello there. I want to be honest with you guys, uh, I don't really loot these things too often. I mean, I've always known they were in the game, this isn't like some new feature in the slightest, these have been here for like... Oh god, it's been years. But I mean, you know, it's, it's I just I don't ever really come in here. What did that do something? What is the code? I Does anyone actually know the code for this thing? I don't know if anyone actually does. I, everyone as far as I'm aware has always just kind of 
done that and stolen the stuff, but you know, somebody should like make it their priority to actually figure out what that code even is, because that'd be really cool to see. Oh, gee, ouch, uh, that's embarrassing. <sighs> that's, you know, I'm a professional Minecraft player. I, I promise. I, I almost did it again. I literally almost did it again. I should leave this place before it murders me. Man, you know, I really do feel like Tarzan jumping through this jungle. I mean, I've been in this jungle for maybe, I know it's not been too long, but still, like five minutes is, I'm starting to feel almost, lo what, is that a mesa? Is that, is that a mesa? Did we find a mesa biome? Wow, that's a mesa biome. How far away is the portal? It's still in the same direction. Oh, darn it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is... Oh, wow. That is just... That is beautiful. That is... Majestic, even. That is huge. You're probably wondering why it's editing Nuji speaking right now, so I'll go ahead and tell you. So, let this be a lesson in why you should always make sure that your discs are not too full when you're recording, because, well, none of the footage of any of the end actually got recorded. I'm not even joking. I wish I was kidding. I wish this was some elaborate prank, but no. None of it. Not a single second of it. But anyway, in this time lapse, I start by going to the end portal. I find it, I put in the eyes of Ender, and we go to the end, where I promptly, of course, beat the Ender Dragon, not wasting even a single arrow at all. And then I go to the other part of the end, which I didn't actually know this until doing this, is apparently just very far away from the main end island where you kill the dragon. I never knew this. This this was new to me, so when I was uh, flying back out of the end to Y00, uh, zero, zero, I was surprised, you know, just zeros, not Y, you know what I mean. I was flying to zero, 00, was surprised to find that end island. I was like, oh, they're connected. But anyway, we got our elytra, we got ourselves some shulker boxes, we got some good end gear, and I left the end not having died even once. So I would consider that a very successful end bust. Okay, well, let me get some sleep. Oh, oh, that's, um, <laughs> that's an uncomfortable angle. I didn't even know that was a thing you could do. Anyway, uh, we're back now. We're back in the overworld, that is. And we are here with the villagers once again. You know, those annoying evil creatures. We're, we're back with them again. And... I need to show you guys what we got here. So, let me place down our box here. And if I combine all of this stuff, this is what we, we have. This is our gear and stuff we got from the end. So obviously we got the, there's the, uh, there's the obvious stuff, the shulker shells, which we got way more of those than I thought we were going to. We got the dragon heads, we got all the, uh, the diamonds, the gold, the iron, Obviously the two elytra, which I'm actually going to enchant. Let me grab one of these ender chests and put it here to kind of be a permanent ender chest. And let me grab all this stuff out. We have returned basically with a ton of loot is what I'm saying. A lot of really, really good stuff. So let me take a moment to kind of sort out the junk and stuff. And we'll I'll show you the good stuff that we got. So yeah, I mean... That's kind of the whole journey, I guess. I mean, we have two reliable pairs of elytra, but we do not have a stable source of gunpowder to make rockets, which is probably what I'll do next. And, I mean, yeah, this is, this is great. I mean, this means we can do so much more now, and obviously we have a bunch of shulker shells. Overall... That was successful, mostly because, well, I didn't die, so that was, that's good. Always good when you don't pass away on a journey trying to accomplish something. However, there's much more to be done, a lot more to be done. So, I think I'll build, uh, maybe a mob farm next, but to build a mob farm, 
we need iron because we need to have an item sorting system. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare. Trust me, the, this, this farm is um, very efficient. So if I don't have a sorting system to sort the various different kinds of items, it's not going to be fun. It's going to be uh, quite unfun, one could say. So I'll definitely get to work on that. But that's a problem for future me. For current me, I'm just going to celebrate the fact that I have this gear, and I'm going to go and, you know, enjoy life for a few moments. So, yeah, I'm going to do that, I guess. And we are back. Okay, so over the course of that time lapse, I built up this. Now, this is a massive, and I do mean massive, mob farm. So the design itself is actually not mine. This is Nembon's design. If you haven't heard of him, he's a really great farm designer. I mean, that's terrifying. I don't even want to go anywhere near the platforms of death. But to show you how efficient the farm is, I did an overnight AFK session. We got a couple items. Uh, just a few, just a few. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Um, we are full. Like, full, full. I have this many excess bones this much excess gunpowder. I mean, just absolutely just chocked full of items. I mean, I, like, dude, look how much gunpowder that is. Four, four double chests of gunpowder. Like, I, what does a person even do when they're this good at Minecraft? <laughs> what do you do when this level of skill and precision is realized. What does a person even... What does a person do with this much gunpowder? I don't even know how to use it, honestly. Which is why, once again, I have not made the sugarcane farm any bigger because I also managed to fill up... I mean, I did some trading with the villagers so it's not completely full or anything, but this is more sugarcane than I personally need. I mean... Like, what does a person do when they have this many items? I mean, I don't think I'll ever use all of this gunpowder. I mean, seriously, this is this is so much gunpowder. I don't have a use for the gunpowder. What what do you do with that level of gunpowder? I just I don't know. I really don't, honestly. So that leads me into what we're gonna do next. So I promised myself I would do nothing villager related, and I'm not going to. I refuse to do it this episode. Next one, maybe, but not this one. So, off camera, I did a bit of trading with the villagers, and here we have some items. And I'm going to use uh, these blocks to actually get started on the project that I wanted to get started on. Basically, I decided to not do a starter base because I thought that it was just a bit too much effort to go through and we've already done so much industrial-wise. There's no point in really building up just a starter base. So, I've decided that I'm actually going to get started on the main thing, the big kahuna, if you will. So, I'm going to actually start building a city. I don't know if it's going to be like a, a city or a large town. I, I, uh, I kind of am split between the two because I don't really want to build um, 
cities to the scale that you build them normally in a, a creative mode world that just seems like a a bit too painful to go through so i'm probably going to build what is referred to as a large town small city if you will it's not going to be something that's like um too big because obviously it's just me i'm the only one here no one else is building any crazy farms or anything um just me you know no one else so i don't exactly have the infrastructure or ability to go about getting so many different kinds of uh st stuff if you will i mean this this took me a while i mean it wasn't too long i've actually built several of these before i think i've built maybe six of these so i've built a lot of them they're not super hard to build but even still it did take up quite a bit of time so i don't really i don't really see how i could easily build every farm in the game i mean i could build a ton of them but resources are one of those things that'll be kind of difficult to uh come by if you will because i have to do everything so i'm gonna get started now on building the i think it was the town hall i decided i was gonna build the town hall so let's get to it <laughs> I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, I I guess it's it's kind of it's kind of nice, but at the same time, it's I don't know, man. It's it's a decent looking building, but I'm just I don't know how to feel about this. You know, it, it looks it, it looks fine, but there's just like there's things, you know, there's parts of it that I certainly would change and actually I forgot to do part of the back which is you know I, I pulled a green I went ahead and pulled a green so I'm gonna fix that now so back here is actually supposed to be kind of like a, a a planter is that what it's called are they called planters I'm pretty sure that's what they're called but anyway put some dirt in there and some leaves okay so there we go all right, that's fixed. But anyway, uh, yeah. But for real, it's it's weird. It's it's a weird looking building, and it's uh, this is the town hall of the the town slash um small city, I suppose. I think I'm gonna go with the town just because small cities or cities in general with the huge skyscrapers and stuff, it's kind of a bit of a pain. So I think I'm gonna go with a, a town or something. But anyway. It, it looks nice. I mean, it, lo it looks fine, but there's some things. There's some things I would change, but overall, it's a pretty nice looking building. So, this is the town hall, right? Obviously, I mean, this is where mayors sit. This is where people do things. They have these, and you know, uh, every single town and or city, they have a hall in which there are people who do things for people you know, 
that place. So anyway, I figured I'd get the town started here with a town hall because that kind of makes sense. So overall, that this kind of building is one that's been done a lot. So there's not a whole lot of uh, things I can do to kind of improve or change the base look of what these buildings generally are. However, I like the, uh, well, the interior's not done at all. I've done no interior, actually. I've barely done anything in here. Just placed around a couple things to kind of get a feel of what this interior kind of will look like, but I've actually not really done anything. But overall, I like this building because it gives you a lot of nice views. Uh, you can kind of look around and, and see things in the world around you, of course. Not much to see now. I mean, you know, got a couple horses, but that's about it. Some cows. One gray sheep, which is pretty unusual to see. But, you know, you, you get to see things. You know, it's a, it's a nice little uh, building with some views. You got some uh, totally realistic mountains in the backgrounds. I will have to fix that at some point or else it will drive me insane. But it, overall, it's just kind of a, a pretty nice looking uh, building. So, this is a, a solid start to what will eventually be a large town that we build. But, as I was saying earlier though, uh, a town hall is kind of, um, it's kind of something that's been done a lot. You can't really change the formula, I guess. It's, it's a very well done building if you know what I mean and it's not one that looks super crazy different depending on which one you do so unless it's like a medieval town hall there's not much you can actually do to change the overall what you're gonna go for in the building generally these government buildings are kinda older looking they have um, like bricks and uh, kinda stony materials they have a lot of uh, grandiose courts and that kind of stuff so that's kind of what I tried to exude with this building. It's a very, very plain looking uh, bureaucratic building as it is supposed to be because that's how government buildings are. So in that way, I think it's very pleasing to look at, but certainly not one of the, not a perfect building. It's not my favorite thing I've ever built in the world, but I think it serves its function just fine. So. I would say this has been a solid start to what will be a long-term project. Well, I mean, honestly, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I mean, I'm not quite sure how much I've gotten done. I know I did the uh, the mob farm and, uh, and this, but both of those things have already kind of taken up quite a bit of time, uh, and uh, honestly, I don't really have the, uh, the energy or the willpower right now to do anything else for a little bit. I think this is kind of where I'm going to end off today's episode. Very, very solid progress today. We made, of course, this start on the city, which I think next episode I'll probably build a road. I'll have a, maybe a fountain, then a road. Uh, some in The interior will be done because that will bother me if I never do that. And maybe an iron farm or all the villager stuff I need to get done, like a raid farm and that kind of thing. There's a lot of things to get done, okay? I I have, a, I have a plate. It's a buffet plate. It's spilling over with everything that I've gotten off of the buffet. And uh, I now have to sit at the table and eat said plate. So, I'm metaphorically saying I have a lot to do. And I am going to be very busy over the next little while in the game. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to blow up that like button. I want you guys to take exactly, exactly 10.24567 megatons of explosive power to that like button. If you take it any more or any less, we will have problems, okay? But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.